there, and welcome to XCOM 7! Sorry, 2. It's a 7th version, but it's XCOM 2. Does that make sense? Good! Okay, so XCOM 2. It's been a little bit coming because I've been playing around with it, getting stuff ready and all the other stuff. For starters, I've put people in the pool. Hello, everybody! And you're all, the everybody who requested to be in, you're all in the list. So thank you all, and... I hope you all have fun. <laughs> I hope you all survive. On the other side of things, I am running this version with a few mods because I think there's a few things that I'd like to change from the base game. I know it's brand new and you should play it through first, all that sort of stuff, but I have decided no. Uh, the mods are, if I can remember them, top of my head, uh, starting, uh, the starting um, rookies, starting ca uh, pool, all will get taken from the main pool here. There are once it runs out here. It will pick them from a random list, but until then, main pool. So you should all, or most of you, should get in anyway. Initially. And if you're not in the list you saw earlier, and I'll just skip through quickly. Or if you haven't asked before, feel free to say, can you put me in? Because we will be needing more people in the future anyway. A second thing. <clears throat> I'm, I'm running a mod, uh, True Concealment. So basically, the timers on time-based missions have always annoyed me in XCOM 1. And now, almost all missions in XCOM 2 are timed. Which is annoying. So I put a mod in place, what it does, it freezes the timer at, let's say, 8 turns. It freezes it, and it won't count down until we break concealment. Now, the moment we break concealment, so we shoot at something, or we run into someone's sight lines, the moment that happens, that timer starts ticking down. The idea being, from my point of view, if the enemy has a bomb on a truck that contains something they're going to blow up, they're not going to start that timer until they think that somebody's nearby. If they're going to wipe a computer system to stop us hacking it, they're not going to wipe, put a constant timer on it. They're going to, the timer's going to be there once they go, oh my god, we've been attacked, get a timer, do go. So the timer doesn't start until they know we're here, basically. I think that's, that makes the game more enjoyable to me, so I'll, I'm doing that. Um, on top of that, I've, I'm also running a mod that actually removes a aim penalty, uh, not penalty, bonus. The game has an aim bonus built in. If you miss, say, three shots in a row, the fourth shot gets a uh, bonus to hit, so you have a better chance of hitting. Uh, the same goes for the enemy. If the enemy hits you three times in a row, their fourth time has a has a, a skew against you to hit. I've, re I've put a mod in place that actually removes that. If it says 50% chance to hit, there's a 50% chance to hit. Not a 50% with a hidden bonus in the background you don't know about. And I believe there's one more. I can't honestly remember where it is top of my head, but I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go in. So, let's get started. Brand new games. I'm thinking... Veteran, because you know I've played Exxon before. I'm gonna lose, like I bring, I've lose all my Exxons, but I will do it anyway. Uh, we're not gonna do the tutorial. The tutorial has a whole bunch of backstory that's n not in the main game, which is kind of annoying actually. I mean, it really should be in the main game, just not with the tutorial part. But the tutorial itself is kind of restrictive, so I'm gonna avoid it. I'm gonna leave the video on because if you guys wanna see it, let me know. And if you want me to skip it, I'll skip it. But uh, I think I'll let them play on. And subtitles will be on because you know it's easy for people to understand. Also, I'm going to start without Iron Man because in the event the game crashes while recording and I have to roll back a bit, because uh, it has done that a couple of times just with being really new and buggy and it's kind of hitting my system quite hard at the moment. In that event, I want to be able to roll back. So that's the only reason for it. I will not be reloading back because someone dies or I made a mistake or we lose a mission or all like that. Uh, it'll only be in case of bugs incurred. Now, the game is very new so there are some bugs there but uh, they'll be ironed out eventually. So let's start the game. So, I'm going to basically assume that you've all seen this, but we'll let it play off a little bit anyway. Unification Day, excellent. Skip. Alright, basically if you want to see the cutscenes, let me know, I will sort of run them back for you, but I'm thinking... Let's skip some of the bigger early cutscenes, but that big one, that lasts like two minutes long, I'm not going to sit around for that. If you want to see them, if you want me to run through all the cutscenes, let me know, and I will just let them play through, but uh, I'll only show the uh, cutscenes from now on. The uh, initial one, it's quite a long one, it's really interesting, but it's uh, quite a long one. And I will do a separate video with the cutscene if you wish, and maybe even the tutorial if you wish as well. Okay, so the game does have some quite a long loading times as well, so... Uh, and also, it looks like all of our troops are actually custom troops. Excellent! Uh, I have given you all what I've done. I've left you with the default uh, nationalities and the default uh, faces and skins and so I haven't done any changes there. But I have customised everyone's armour colour. So, <laughs> you've all got nice, colourful armour. Let's go! Men 
Atlantis 1-5. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X-4 charges at the designated position. Okay, so very quickly, first of all, for those that haven't really seen much of the XCOM game in the new version, this symbol here, this little like hoods, means we're concealed. It's, that's a brand new thing to XCOM 2. Now, concealment in XCOM 2 means the enemy doesn't know we're here. We're, we are a rebel force. They don't know we're here. And because they don't know we're here, we have free movement. And when we see them, they don't react. Like in the old XCOM, you go near them and they react, ah! You know, they don't do that anymore. Not until we break cover. Now, we have to break cover by shooting them or running into their sight lines. Uh, we don't really have anything. That there, by the way, is our target. We have to place a bomb on that statue, because apparently the statue is evil and must be taken down. <laughs> Maybe not evil, but you know, you get the idea. Okay, so Yoni, welcome and Moving go there. Yoni has nice orange armor. Also, there's the bad guys. These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well-equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Okay, so first things get started, we're down here. You can see this red tile thing. If I go anywhere near the red tile, they can see me and they'll be alerted. That will break our cover. Just going into that will break our cover. Also, shooting them will break our cover. But if I actually try to move down there, see how we got our normal movement stuff? If we could get close enough, you'd have a little exclamation mark over the top and that would say, Yeah, you break your cover if you go there. Right, so I'm going to run Yanni to the very end here. Run to there, please, Yanni. Don't get seen. Good, Yanni. Okay, Jordan. If you could just run to here, then I'm going to spread you out a little bit. Two of that side and two further on this way. I don't have to worry about you two getting yourselves in trouble. Uh, Mr. Remixer. Correct. I want you... I want to sort of flank these guys a little bit. So I want someone to come this way. So if you could actually go... To there, that would be perfect. Thank you. And finally, Rare Eye 1010 in the nice pink armor. If you could go stand here, I want to take you in two separate teams, so I want to put you in that cover there. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. <clears throat> so what happens is they basically stand there. They will move around, but when they move around, uh, we've got to try and anticipate where they're going to be. Now, generally speaking, there's two pods on this map. I played it a few times to get sort of my, the view suit before I made the so before I started making the video. So what I want to do is I want to take this first person down. Who's this going to be? Mr. Remix. So you're going to go down here. And you're going to run across to here. And I want to just get to there, please. Nice blue move. We have a spare move when we get there. Ooh, that's a drop and a half. Up and over. Get me in the car. Thank you. All right. So you stay there for a minute. In fact, can I just have you and overwatch you? Thank you. And okay. So Rai Rai, could you go down there as well? I would like you to be down there as well. But instead of being here, I want you behind this full cover. Can I have the visibility? Be nice, thank you. Oh, that's the other modder, but um, I've modified it so the camera rot rotates only 20 degrees per press rather than the full 45 each time. Now go behind that full cover, please. Moving to designated you can just go down there. Nice. And hold that position. Um, and overwatch as well, yeah. We'll, we'll overwatch. Uh, okay, Yondi, you're the one to further this way. Could you... I want you to move this way, but I don't want to... There's another pod somewhere over here. I don't want to be tricking them just yet. So if you could come back... It's a bit far back. Could you go there? Yeah, you go there. Go there, Yondi. And... Plump! And run. And don't trigger the other pod yet. There's a target. Good. You're near the target position. We are indeed. Right, and finally... Finally, 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 finally. I'm going to send Jordan here. Go. Okay. Go, Jordan. Go, go, go. All right. So, turn ends. Turn stops. Because there's no reason. For some reason, they're not moving. But they do that sometimes. They do move. Okay. So, first thing is our team at the other side of the map. What I want you guys to do is I want you to get some better flanking positions on. Because we can flank these guys relatively easily. Um, unfortunately, I would like to get to maybe some full cover here, but that will definitely trigger them. Um, you've got some good cover there, so I'm going to leave you roughly where you are. In fact, because of where you are, I would like to leave you there. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Remix, uh, I don't know what's over here, but I'm going to take a step this way. Could you step there, please? Moving to designated position. Anybody? Nobody. All right, go in that full cover there, then, please. Thank you. And could our friend over here, if you could just overwatch, thank you, That's just in case anything happens here, you can also overwatch, Jordan, you're in the perfect place there, 
And Yoni. Now, I was like, Yoni. Now, this thing here, by the way, it's a big tower thing. It's a sort of half invisible right now because my cursor. There it is. It's basically a camera. If we go near that, it will sort of set the alarm off. So let's not do that just yet. Go and stand there. On the move. All clear. Okay, all clear. Go and stand on the far side of that then. Thank you. End of turn, new turn, and new turn. Oh, there they are. The second pod. Okay, the second pod has been detected. The thing about the second pod is they are a lot more powerful than the first pod, and they will flank Yoni very, very easily. So I'm going to bring you to there. Uh, actually, I want you back in here. They are fairly well evil, so I'm going to put you on Overwatch. And I believe you've got a grenade. Could you actually hit them too with that grenade? Uh, ooh, saying that. Hmm. Jordan, what's your grenade? Uh, no, Jordan, you you overwatch where you are. Uh, Miss Remix, so you can see one of them. Uh, I don't want to make you move too much because you'll be in trouble there. So you overwatch as well. And Rai Rai, you're in grenade range. You can probably take two of those out with a grenade, couldn't you? Oh, look at that. A two-in-one shot? Well, I don't mind if I do. Thank you. Grenade! Two down! Okay, so the third one... Now, this is a new thing. This is a concealed thing. We are now revealed. That one guy who's left is going to make a run for it. Unfortunately for him, there are three Overwatches. And he's not in cover. Goodbye! Now, at the same time, there's another pod active. Remember the other pod? Those guys, they're now active. And they now see us, so they're going to react. And they're coming. And we have an Overwatch as well. Yoni! Three damage. Excellent. So, I think we might kill one of them. Yes, we did. So, Yoni is now in cover here. They're going to come and uh, do their job. Da -da 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 -da. Looks like they're going for Yoni. And... Okay, Yoni took a direct hit by the look of that. I can't see your damage, actually. Why can't I see your damage? Hmm. But you're panicking. Okay, new oh, metric. Right. When a player panics, right. they move and they take a shot sometimes. Excellent. The best part is the shot that you took a shot at the person who hadn't moved. Even better. <laughs> Downside, however, is where you're panicking right now. You're in an easily flankable position. So I need someone to come in and sort of uh, dig you out of that position. Um, okay, who do we have? We have over Miss Remixer who probably can't get a shot at that guy, but he can get into position for a shot next turn. So if you could just run to there, Mr. Remixer. Copy that. Thank you. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, you have a shot next turn. That's excellent. Uh, we have Jordan here who can move on. I can't really get close enough to protect Yoni. Yoni may take a hit. Uh, that is a downside. Uh, Yoni, yeah, you could definitely take a hit next turn, couldn't you? Uh, I can't get anywhere to protect you, so I'm going to move to... Here. It's a yellow, a blue move. But I can put a Overwatch in place, maybe catch that guy if he tries to move. And right back here, Rai Rai. Oh god, Rai Rai's way back. Uh, Rai Rai. I don't get closer, but I didn't close, and that's risking a, a flanking position. Uh... See, they'd be perfect, but that guy's just going to come this way and shoot Rai Rai as well. Okay, Ray Ray, you're going to come back to here. It's not the way I'd like you to be, but it's about as far as I can get you right now. Good. You're going to have to... Can you get a grenade out of the way? Not far enough. No, not far enough. Okay, you're going to have to just overwatch. And hopefully the guy will move into your sights. Where is he? He's moving, he's moving, he's moving. Damn it, he didn't go far enough. The good news, he didn't shoot at Yanni and kill him. <laughs> Uh, bad news for him, however, is now stood in the open, and Yoni is no longer panicked. And one thing I can guarantee you Moving. is that Yoni won't be happy about the fact that you shot him in the face. So, Yoni, shoot him in the face, please. Okay, Yoni missed shooting him in the face. That was a uh, bad, bad, bad. Focus. Yes, focus. Okay, Jordan, move to full cover. See your loss. And shoot him in the face. Okay, we are screwed. Alright, so downside right now is we have Yoni in a very, very bad situation where he can't run away and we've got an injury. 
He could get killed very easily here. If we can do this, I'm going to try and lob a grenade and get just that guy. Can I? Ooh. Ooh. Ho, 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 ho. Please don't hit Yoni on that one. It looks safe. It looks safe. Yes. Three damage. Okay. Right, right. If you can plant this shot on him, this will save Yoni's life. If you can plant this shot. Ready? 27%. I don't think you're going to do it. Uh, Overwatch. Hopefully he'll run. Hopefully he'll run. He's flanked, so... He is running. Good. Take him down. And... Miss. But he is burning, so hopefully that'll do something for us. Uh, who's he firing at? Oh, he fired and hit you. Jeez. Okay, we've got a couple of injuries for this this battle. Uh, well, Yonis and Shaw are badly injured. You can just run there. Plant the explosives. Explosives! Good. Right, run back to there. That should hopefully make you fairly safe for next turn, so if we can get to you. And we're going to try and get this guy... I would love to get a grenade onto him, if we have to. So if you can just run to there. Thank you, Jordan. And I'm going to bring up... Ooh, Mr. Remixer. Oh, hello, Mr. Remixer. It's has a very nice flank you have right there. Oh, there's a civilian in the way. Uh, do you know what? Shoot through the civilian. Oh, pretty good. And there's something really nice, but like, oh, I wish we could get to that. Area is secure. Oh, up any I don't know if we get that loot because they, when the yeah, when we shoot the, the high-ranking guys, they drop the loot. I don't know if we're gonna get the loot because it was there, but the level ended. Do we get the loot for the level ending before we picked it up or not? Uh, looks like we don't get the loot because uh, because we placed the bomb first. I shouldn't have placed the bomb. Hmm. I should have waited on that one. Okay, so. 50% success rate on shots, which is not bad for rookies. 32% uh, cover bonus. Uh, okay, fair enough. Uh, Yoni got the most damage. Yoni made the most attacks. Yoni moved the first. And Rai Rai was the most shot at. Yeah, Rai, I hope you're happy with that. <laughs> uh, so Yoni's the one that actually took the damage and almost died. But Rai Rai is the one that actually took the most fire. Ah, interesting. Okay. Any key to continue? And there's our team. One greatly wounded, one wounded, two active. Okay. So, first of all, well, let's see what these guys got. They got promoted, so let's see what these ranks. Now, there are a whole new ranking system as well. So, let's have a look at the new ranking system. We have Serving Yoni, demolitions experts. Grenadier. So, basically, you got a big grenade launcher and a massive gun. You can basically you can take down walls and you're useful for taking down mechs and whatnot. Yoni! Grenadier. Okay, Rai Rai, what do you have for us? Rai Rai, like the sniper. Well, sharp shooters, sharp shooters sorry. Enemy targets with we have a big pistol. <laughs> so, Rai Rai, you're going to be a sniper. For the occasional close encounter. Okay, and Jordan, specialist. By the way, these little robot thingies, I so much want one of these things in real life. Also, don't they just look like the, the head part of... Uh, Johnny Five from um, Short Circuit with uh, some floaty bits around it. <laughs> there we go, specialist. And finally, since we have a, let me guess, let me guess, we have a heavy, uh, with grenadier, sniper, specialist. This will be a ranger, mystery mixer, ranger. The ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit. Capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. So rangers basically have a big sword for melee attack and a shotgun for other stuff. They're the close combat guys. So congratulations Mr. Remix, you're going to be up close a lot. <laughs> oh we did get the artifact. Great, we did get it. We got a stock. The stock uh, missed shots still deal one damage. To take. Ooh, that could be useful for, uh, for certain people like snipers who uh, are going to be at range. Hmm. Let's see about that one. 
We also got a troop, five trooper corpses and one officer corpse, which is excellent. Because the grenade Commander didn't destroy it. To the research labs. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm still talking. Thank you. All right, so this is our new base, basically. Uh, in the tutorial, it basically shows you this is a ship. It's actually one of the alien ships. And, yeah, we're... Uh, well, we're basically, I'll, I'll explain it over here in a minute, but uh, I don't know we don't have a base anymore. We have this ship instead. So here we go. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. Uh, this is a science lab. Why is if the power the reactor in the science lab? For the rest of the so, alien so, okay. Why is the power reactor Dr. in the Richard science lab? Tigan. Chief science officer. Take down to engineering. I God's sake. Jeez. For the entirety of our research here. All of it. As well as Wait. the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab. Yeah, so anybody who doesn't know, the procedure is basically you are the commander from XCOM 1. You get captured. I'm going to talk over the guy, by the way. You get captured, and the 20 years later, you get rescued by the new XCOM team. This thing is found in the back of your brain. Yeah. To me during so they've extracted it because you know what? If you find something alien in someone's brain, yank it out. <laughs> so now they're going to try and figure out what it means and what it does. And your approval, of course, Commander. I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of yeah, they want more scientists. Okay, so basically, we have modular weapons, which is a great new thing, where you can put bits onto weapons. So that stock that we found, we can put that stock onto a weapon. But we have to research how to do it first. Hybrid materials gives us armor so we can get people close and not get killed. And biotech is that piece of technology that was found in the back of our heads. My advice is I'm going to go for the armor. In all my playthroughs so far, I've gone for the modular weapons, but quite frankly, I've only got a stock right now. And the stock is all the might may be useful. The armor for the for the shotgun is going to be more more useful. Research to be among the more intriguing options available. Of course you do. And finally, hello there. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from your old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. I like the name, Rove R. Come on, Rover. <laughs> It'll work. I point out that she reminds me a lot of Kaylee from Firefly. Commander. Get you know, the engineer of Elliot. The is harder than you think. Yeah. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. Welcome, Peter. Your service. You were probably expecting to see my father. Not really. In all that's happened, it's been 20 I'm years. Guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad to gave shops. everything he had. They get captured. This, far. this entire ship is his life's work. He could have at least painted it. I know Jeez. He would have loved to show you around the place himself. A lot of cameras. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he said. Don't believe everything he said. Might not look it. He, he, he made things up. I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. Yeah, I want one of them. And with a little more help. Bravo. Well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. I want a rover, and it wants to have the little rover R on the end, because it's cute. Alright, so the workshop and engineering departments. I want one of them. These need to be merchandise you can buy. I really want one of these. Anyway, uh, let's start by looking at our facility list. There's room for us to expand our facilities yeah. on board the Avenger, Commander. <clears throat> so we have our power here, supplies and income. Now, power and supplies and income are different to the old-fashioned way, where you get given the money through countries, and then the more you kept the countries around, the more you, you got. Instead, you actually you can find the currency, the supplies on the ground. You earn a small amount, but you earn more by bringing new rebel countries on board. So that actually goes up so quite substantially later game. Uh, by the way, when I say later game, I've played like two, three missions in, so I'm really new to it. I just wanted to make sure I knew the controls and knew some tactics and stuff before I went into doing this. And I didn't, so never mind. <laughs> Power is, as always, you never get enough to get started with. We have one room here to start with. I would have preferred the centre one, but okay. And the idea is the ship is mostly debris, so we have to dig it out. As we dig it out, you see we get supplies. We get a reward for digging it out. To get allies there, look. But we can't do it yet because Commander, I'm going to need more help on the engineering team before I can start clearing out some of these other rooms. We should recruit an engineer. So we have this engineer on board who's able to build anything we want, but when we ask him to dig a, a room out, no, 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 you need a proper engineer for that. 
<laughs> Alright, but what we're going to do, I'm going to get in here, and I'm going to immediately build a guerrilla tactics school because that gives us so much good stuff. Can start work on the new facility right away, Commander. Thank you. I'll send word when it's up and running. Yeah, yeah, good, thanks. We noticed early on that the Go Avenger has a tendency away. to dip forward when the power core is All right. under uh, the power engine. Alright, let's go to the bridge. Well, keep the backstory going. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge. The nerve center of our operation. I know what bridge is. You really need to tell me that. have our entire world in their grip. Advent I think it's their world now. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Okay. Resources and time are tight, Commander. Do we have a flag? It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. We need a flag. How do we take a country back if we don't have a flag to stick in the ground? No. While we prepare for new operations and continue our research, we can pass time by sure we can. At sites so this is the new uh, geoscape. Order, we'll start uh, thank you. The, the new area. geoscape basically is the These Earth, and you move around and. But because it's a ship, the ship has to keep moving so it doesn't get shot down, and also to spread our, to project our power, to protect our force around the world, the ship moves where we need to be. We've got the armor now. We can we can build the armor. Excellent. Uh, light armor can be. Derived from Advent Armour, excellent. Now, I'm going to ask you to work on modular weapons because the biotech is not as important as getting some better weapons. Assumed you'd make that research your then we'll head over to Engineering and say, Hello, Engineering Chen. Can you make me a flashbang, a medkit, and a cat make an armour? I need, I need, I need, I need, I need 30 supplies to make some armour. Well, we'll get that very soon because I'm going to do a mission. But I wanted that flashbang and I wanted that medkit. Uh, because I know things come up pretty soon. To the geoscape. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth Excellent. investigating. So now we have an in mission to get f to get an engineer. We have four days to get an engineer. Avengers an engineer is great. We can start digging course. out the ground, but bother with parts of the ship, and get the new stuff. So we're going to straight into a second mission. Commander. The Avengers remote scan. Scan, 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 Every time. Scan the thing, do the job, but then another mission more important comes up. I've tried to ignore it to complete that scan and it just stops you from doing that. So go over there. By the way, that shadow is massive, so the ship must be huge. Hello! Okay, so we have a mission. And I'm going to just remove the people we've got on the mission first of all. Remove, 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 remove. I'd just like to do that anyway, just to start with. Okay, so. I want to take at least two experienced people and two rookies. Or maybe three experienced people. I mean, I'm, I'll see what we've got first of all. So, I'm going to want to take with us the... Let's take our sharpshooter with us. Always nice to have a sniper around. Uh, yeah, our grenadier is gravely wounded. Um... Uh, a ranger, ranger or specialist, ranger or specialist. Ooh, should we take with us? Ooh, 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 ooh. In case you're wondering, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm gonna take Mr. Remixer as our ranger. That's like a knife person. Okay, next person up, we'll take a rookie, random rookie, and it'll be you, Miss Casanel. And random rookie number two is gonna be you, Alpha Epic. All right. Now we have some new stuff, so I'm going to say, uh, Miss Remix, you're going to be up close and personal with these people. Uh, I would prefer you to be carrying. Can I have a flashbang? In case you need it, there's a flashbang just sort of disoriented and give you a better chance of survival in the event you need it. And a rookie. Well, actually, no, the sniper. The sniper's going to be at the back. So a grenade would be less than useful. So you can keep the uh, medkit. The idea being that if you need them, you'll probably need to make it to heal somebody, but if you need a grenade, there's something gone really wrong. You're too close. So, there we go! Bum, 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 bum. Let's go! Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. And let's drop it then. Begin the mission. Okay, so the mission. Destroy the alien transmitter relay. I think we can do that. Menace one five. 
The communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. Will do. Field position. Okay, so we're gonna again then destroy that target. Uh, without being seen for as long as possible, would be nice. What is that? Is that a TV camera? Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, there, there's a stage. Look, that'd be from the part from the uh, intro where the guy's talking. Yeah, that'd be what it is. Okay, let's have a scout of our terrain. Uh, there's n we've got a building over here we can use to cover. We've got these large-sided edges here. This way, however, does appear to be almost entirely uh, half cover and spotty bits. So I'm not liking that as a way to get into that building. Uh, the building itself, can we get in there easily enough? There's a nice big hole in the wall there, which is always nice. And a camera. Okay, so I think it's settled. We're going to go through this building. Or maybe not through the building, but through the centre piece. So let's start. Can I have my camera? Thank you. Let's start by moving up to here. Go Rai Rai. You're the sharpshooter, so take a first position. You will lock yourself down there. Uh, let's see. Annalise, where are we going to send you? Uh, we've got some more full cover here, so let's go there. Uh, I don't want to put you on... Yeah, I will. Oh, I'm not going to do it because it's that way, but I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to go this way now. So, these, by the way, are little fences. You can jump through that without triggering any kind of alert. Alpha, uh, I'd really love to get you there and there, but that's just a bit dangerous right now. Go and stand there, please. Moving to designated position. And hold. And finally, Mr. Remix. So we've got a big shotgun. And I'm going to put you as far forward as I dare right this very second. Go there. Running. And... Okay, there's the first unit. There's apparently one guy in that unit. No, no, there's a couple of people there. We just can't see them. They're probably out of our range. That's fine. We can actually avoid them for a short turn if we want to. Um, we know where they are, so we could go and kill them now, but it will give our position away. And I would like to get a lot closer to that building before we give our position away. So, how about we move Mr. Remixer up to... Okay. Oh, so close to get to that spot, wasn't it? Uh, okay. Uh, ooh, what have we got up here? Uh, uh, cameras, cameras, and cameras. Okay, so we're alright with cameras. Uh, let's take... Where's my... There you are. Okay, let's take... You and run you up to Alpha Run. Yeah, Alpha Run to there. That's affirmative. Up oh. and hold. Surprise. Then Rai Rai, you. S I'd like to, actually would like you on a bit of a high ground. Can you go there? It's slightly elevated, so it'd be useful for uh, taking shots. Uh, yeah, you just hold that position there, please. Right. So there are definitely two people there. I'm going to ignore them for now. But I do want to move up a little bit. Um, I don't really want to spare you out too much. There's no real good cover this way for you. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to say... Miss Castanel, run to there, please. On my way. It's half cover, but uh, hopefully you'll be fine. fine Overwatch. And I'm going to take the risk here. It's probably not a good idea. So running just this half cover here. Okay. With uh, Mr. Remixer. And hold. Now, which way are they moving? They are moving towards us or down? Oh, they're going through. Even better. I mean, there's only two. I'd like to sort of engage more at once. But uh, that's actually good for us. Because it gives us the ability to sort of get really close to them. Uh, Annalie. Oh, we're really to gone there. But no, it's a, it's a red zone. It would definitely trigger an alert there. Okay, so you may be our one that triggers the alert then. Oh, we can get there though. <laughs> Don't know. Uh, you can't see any of them, and if you move, you'll be spotted. Okay, Mr. Remixer, could you run to there? Don't trigger anything. Yes, you can. Do it. Heading to that location. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That was close. You almost did it. All right, so you are definitely in range of them. Overwatch. Overwatch. Uh. Okay, yes, you can definitely see them. Uh, you can see one of them. Uh, okay, right, right. I think we might have to take the shot. We're not that far from the uh, the place anyway, so we could probably just take them out now. Uh, Alpha can't see anything. I would actually prefer to get Alpha moving to a more useful position, so I'm going to bring Alpha to here or to there. It's only half cover. But get you a bit close to the action for okay. later. So go there. Thank you, Alpha. Overwatch where you are. 
And we'll say... Hmm. Rari's going to take the shot, so... Miss Carson, now I would actually prefer if you could come this way. In case they run that way, but... Uh, you stay where you are, and Rai Rai take the shot. 75% to kill. Take it. And... Ooh, right through that window. Did you see the legs? Uh, Cover blown. And then run. Where are you going to run to? That was a wrong direction to run to. Ooh, shotgun to the face. Not a good thing for you. Okay, so anybody we see from this point forward will immediately attack us because now they know we're here. So we're going to move Miss Castle forward to this full cover here. Oh, what actually? Yes, to there, please. And all clear. I'm going to ask you to Overwatch. Right, to have a sniper. Now, there's no real good place for the sniper just yet, but I'm going to ask you to go there, please, right, right? Headed there now. And also Overwatch. Overwatch. Overwatches are not always the safest things to do. I really shouldn't be doing them all at once. But they're useful when you're th making your first sort of initial move. So first thing we do is like Alpha. I don't like half cover. That's the problem. And the target is there. So it's like a... If I put you on that wall there, it's a high flanking risk. Go there anyway, Alpha. On the move. Hold and... Ball there they are. some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion. Their genetic structure now is... Yeah, they're a little bit bigger than the previous sectoids. They're also a lot more dangerous. Kill it. Good. Okay, that's done. We've just got the sectoid to deal with. Target eliminated. Okay, can you... Good. You're flanked. That's... See what I said about not wanting to... Uh... Get in the flanking position. Alright, so we have Mr. Remixer here who could get... Quite close. That would just end up getting you killed really, really easily. Um, yeah, I need you in a better place. You're going to stay roughly where you are. Actually, no, you're not. Um, that shotgun is better up close. I'm going to ask you to run inside here and hide. Uh, actually, you can run there, please. Moving to designated coordinates. And from where you are... What do you have there? It's a, it's a flashbang. You're not going to get anywhere near that. So you're going to overwatch. And Alpha, you're going to pull back to here. Because you have you're flanked, and that's just a nice, safe piece of cover for you. And there we go. Hopefully it will move up to us. Oh, it didn't move? Really? Did it overwatch? We can't see it. It could have overwatched. Ugh. Not a good thing when you're saying it, the sex I could have overwatched. Um, okay, Miss Castanel, run to there and tell me what you can see, please. Don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit, and see something. You see nothing. Ugh. Don't want to move any closer. Just hold position, please. Uh, okay, Mr. Remixer, you have... Yeah, wherever we go, it's half cover right now, so go and stand there. It's a, not a brilliant idea, but uh, we should hopefully see the target. There's the target. Sniper! You can't see him because of that big pillar thing in the way. Ugh. Um, it's only half cover, but if you can get there, you might get a shot with the pistol. We can run to there and get a shot next turn with the rifle. Go for the rifle shot. There. So you have no shots next turn. You hold. Uh, you can't see anything from there, but I'm going to ask you to hold a overwatch in case it comes for the sniper. Because right, right, does need protection. Overwatch. Thank you. And... If you could move to there, you can sort of move up with Mr. Remixer and help him out there. Good. Orders confirmed on the move. Go, Alpha. Go, go. Overwatch. Uh, unfortunately, you are is not the best. What's your chance of hitting? 26%. Um, Overwatch. You have a shotgun. If he moves, I want to get him. And a shotgun's got a pretty decent chance, actually. He's moving. Five to the back. Downside is he's inside the building. Okay. He's inside the building. Which is not good for us trying to spot him. Um, although, our target is there. So if we can get close enough, we can just destroy the target anyway. Uh, okay. Let's start with moving up people that can get places that are useful. 
Uh, okay, Mr. Remix, I'm going to ask you to make a run to this full cover here. Um, it's the best I can ask you right now. Go! Understood. Moving out. Hold and... You can't see anything there. Okay, we're going to have a next turn. will be a nice see it. And we're about to start hitting that target. But right now we can't do anything. Okay. Right, right. Can you see anything in there? You can't, but I want to get you in a position where you can shoot that the target. Our, our main goal. Is there any high cover for you? There's no high cover for you. This actually is a really bad level for uh, snipers. Uh, oh, can you get up on the roof here, though? Uh, if you can get there... Without activating anything. Go. No new pods. 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 That was risky. Okay, we have a sniper in an elevated position who hopefully behind that behind that can see uh, if anybody comes out of there. Okay. Uh, Miss Castanel, I would love to get you closer, but right now I just need to get you somewhere near the battle. Okay. And last... Last up, I'm going to send you there. It's half cover, but quite frankly, that's all we have anyway. Go, Alpha. And then a bit of Overwatch, just in case Sitai comes out, because he will do. Overwatch. Overwatch. And nothing. Okay. In that case, Alpha, it's time for you to move up a bit. Oh, you can't get to there. Jeez, that would be... Oh, we can get there, though. Alpha, run to there. Confirmed. Bum, bum. Here. Yes, we can see the big spinny thing. Okay, and you can you can hit the big spinny thing, which is excellent. Uh, Mr. Remixer, you can't actually get to where I want you to be, but you're in full cover. I would like you to stay in full cover, but that's not going to happen because I need you to be a bit closer to the action. Go and stand there. Roger that. And you can see it as well. Excellent. Uh, there is a sectoid in here, and I'm a bit worried we can't see him. Uh, sniper, see where you are. Miss Carson, now, if you could run to this half cover here. I'm on the move. Okay, you can't see anything, so I'm going to ask you to overwatch. Scanning. I'm going to ask Rai Rai here to overwatch with your sniper rifle, because that's going to be a very useful overwatch. Got uh, I'm going to ask you two to actually take shots at the building, because that thing has to die. Ooh, you can actually take it out in one shot near enough. Take that shot. Five damage. Ooh, nice. Uh, it is got one damage left. I would have actually preferred to keep that Overwatch. Overwatch. Come on, where is it? There's a sectoid in there somewhere. There it is. Shotgun. Oh, you missed. But he's out the back door by the look of that, so we have to be careful of that. Which way is he going? Can we... Come on, guys. You've got to tell me where he was going. We've got admin here. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Oh, s Sniper. Oh, Annalise. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Kill something. Yes. And the sniper on the one on the roof. Snipe him. It's down. Snipe the one on the roof. <sighs> okay. Primary targets. We have Rai Rai on the roof here who has a 51% chance to take a sectite on the roof. A 47 to take a sectite on the ground. I would rather you take the one on the roof as he is elevated. Take the shot. Okay, I apparently targeted something entirely different. Oops. I shot the relay with my sniper rifle. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, uh, we have two guys that we have to really get rid of now. Can you pull back to full cover? And still see. Good. 29% chance to hit. We have a grenade. Those guys are evil. They need to be taken out. You have a flashbang and a slicer weapon, but there's probably somebody else in there. Cause I've only seen one. I think he's back here, actually. Um, you have a shotgun, which is quite nice. What's your chance to hit? 34 and 13. Okay. I really don't like where you're stood. You know what? I don't like where you're stood, but there's a full cover right there, and you have a shotgun. 51% chance to hit. Missed. Okay. Yeah, but what we do have is a grenade and a grenade. So I'm going to ask if Annalise could make a run to there On the move. and just lob that grenade because that's a guaranteed kill. Catch. Thank you. 
And Mr. Sectoid. Goodbye! <laughs> and that leaves us with one Overwatch, Luke destroyed. Ugh. And one Overwatch to get that guy on the roof if he comes down. He's going down the back. Is he going to come into an image there? Yes! Hit him! Hit him! Ooh, a five damage. Excellent. There should be another guy as well. Uh, he's using one of his superpowers, and he is... <clears throat> What's he going to do? He's resurrecting a zombie by the look of that. Yes, the one right next to him. Okay, so have two... Well, three parts. He can panic person, mind control your own people, or... Res resurrect dead person. Unfortunately for him, we have a 33% chance to hit him with our sniper. Rai Rai, please do the honours. Thank you, Rai Rai. That also takes out the zombie, which is excellent. Target eliminated. There we go. So I wonder if we're going to zoom in then. There should be one more advent guy around somewhere. Really? We got them all. Huh. I didn't think we got them all. Mission, accomplished. Mission was flawless. Okay. Seven and done. Turns taken nine. Not bad. All right, so 50% of our shots hit the target. 35% uh, of our uh, cover was useful, which doesn't say much. We have Rai Rai did the most damage with that sniper rifle. Alpha Epic made the most actual attacks, which suggests he didn't do many hits. Uh, Alpha also moved the furthest, and nobody was under fire. I Really? We didn't miss any of the no, no one shot at us. Wow, we actually have a mission where no one shot at us. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that before. Uh, sure. Complete the mission and see what our two uh, rookies got as a promotion bonus. I do like the new Skyrim. The dual tails are very nice. A bit weird with the engines, but the dual tails are very nice. Okay, so... Miss Garsonel, you've become a specialist. Alpha Epic 11, you have become a sniper, a, sla a sharpshooter. And most importantly, Rai Rai 1010, our current sniper, has been promoted. And you have two choices. We have a choice to make. Long Watch, which allows you to trigger your Overwatch on squad sites. So, you know, somebody makes a run for it, then we can shoot them in the overwatch uh, or we can have return fire which means if somebody shoots at you you can fire back with your pistol now again the thing is both of these are very very useful so long watch means you basically you're a sniper with extra you can basically you can overwatch at squad site we've seen that before but the return fire means if someone is close enough to shoot at the sniper then the sniper can actually fire back and defend themselves and it's a free shot now I'm going to leave this up to you. Should we go long watch or return fire? Do we say, in the event that we have uh, an overwatch, we can actually shoot at squad site ranges, which is, is good. Or do we say the sniper is able to defend themselves if they're fired upon? Let me know what you think, guys, what we should do there in the comments. I will promote Alpha, uh, Alpha Rai Rai 1010 at the next uh, episode. We picked up a set toy cop, two set toy cops and four advent corpses. Excellent. Hello, Commander. Welcome, the mysterious man. Once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration, with one exception. Who? Who is it? Who? It's good to see you again. I'm um, basically say the same. Your capture. I have done all I can to aid the resistance from the inside. It was these resistance operatives Ooh, a space man. that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. Who's a space man? As of now, resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat I'm a cabinet, then. and their alien masters, <laughs> you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Okay. Their numbers are growing. We I will point out it can't read that language. We barely read English. Site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander.
Commander. The Black Site's location remains unknown. To take okay. Charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them. If you know where they are, should you be in contact with them? Find this black site and shut it down. Will do. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. We gotta need it. Because you really need a light bulb in the office. New objective added. New objective. Do stuff. Fine. Yep. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us. Hey, we got an engineer. You have done an outstanding job leading the New engineer. Commander. Excellent. Thank you. We can we begin the engineering team. We can start <clears throat> Warning, our supplies are low. Commander. I know. We should be so. looking for more recruits. Right, so we have an engineer now. The engineer means we can start digging out these rooms. And we will, if we dig that one out, we get 36 supplies and 12 out of and this one gives us 35 supplies Commander, so, far, I so seen anything critical among I'm going to say take out a new engineer and excavate that room if we clean this stuff out, we could that when it's done will give us 35 supplies so it's only take 5 days it takes more but it's going to take takes more time for it goes down ok back in out that go to our armory and uh, that little symbol just tell me I have to go and uh, recruit let's just see who's in our actual list Okay, so we have Rai Rai 1010, Yoni Kaczynski, Jordan Turner, Mr. Remixer, Alpha Epic, <coughs> 11, Annalise Castanel, Ronan Pawn, DJ Crumble, and a random person who made it through the list somehow. I only had like 19, and so it does occasionally something sneak through. Those are in our active list right now. We also have a list we can we can recruit from. Our recruiting list has Mr. Washington, Random Person, Renacy and the Great. Joe Unicorns, me, Paul Joyce, Random Person, Wingless, Samuel Cohen, Random Person. When I said Random Person, those are people I can rename. Okay. The new uniform so, isn't bad considering, but sometimes I do miss uh, that dance soldiers. sweater. So what that means is I have uh, Ravid Bali right here. I can rename this person. So if you haven't seen your name in the game. Let me know if you want to be in, and I will add you into that position slot there. Now, I already have a list from people who asked me beforehand, and I, they're all in the list, so they'll appear naturally as the game progresses. But uh, if you've not been on, the, if you're not on the first list and you haven't asked just yet, there's a spot waiting for you right there. All I can say is, welcome aboard. Anyway, guys, as usual, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Chasing tears